Hi, um, my name is Pax Bobro, and I am going to run through how to apply to the Arts in the Heart of Augusta Festival if you are a performer who wants to be on one of the five stages at this year's 2023 festival. I'm going to share my screen right now with you. And so the first thing that you need to know is that to apply to the Arts in the Heart of Augusta Festival stages this year, we are using a platform called Zapplication. That's just like the word application, but with a Z in front of it, Z-A-P-P-L-I-C-A-T-I-O-N dot O-R-G. And if you go to Zapplication, the first thing you're gonna have to do is create a profile on, on Zap. So you can click on the little sign up button in the top right corner and create a condition. You're gonna wanna to agree to the terms and conditions by checking this box. I certify that I read and agree to the Zap terms and conditions. Responsible thing would be to read through that and check it. Um, and then you're gonna create a username. I'm gonna create a username today uh, for the Arts Council. Augusta Arts and capitalized letters, I think do matter in this case. All right. Um, and I will. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an email address that um, I would be checking. Right? You don't want to have the email address that you never check that all your junk goes to um, because, you know, then um, you won't get any of the communication that you're really going to want to be getting. All right, so I'm going to complete filling out the basic information on my email, create a password, give my name. And I'm going to, for this um, situation, I'm going to say that I'm just an individual, not a team, I'm not working with any associates. Um, and just to save time today, I'm going to not have them collect my demographic information. But, you know, uh, as an arts council, we strongly recommend that everybody help. Um, uh, groups disaggregate their data and do provide your demographic information so that they can better understand who they're serving. So um, next, I'm going to fill in an address. We are in Georgia, in Augusta, downtown in 30901. And I'm going to put in the phone number for the Greater Augusta Arts Council, which is 706-826-4702. Uh, and our street address. And for our business aim, I'm going to say Greater Augusta Arts Council. And for our website, it is www augustaarts.com. All right. Okay, so now this is the tricky thing. For his application, um, this platform was created by a regional arts council out west in Colorado. It's called WESTAF, which stands for Western Arts Federation. And WESTAF created two online platforms for artists to find professional opportunities. They created Zapplication and Call for Entry. But this is actually, it's for visual artists. And so Zapplication is for visual artists to find festivals where they can sell their work and Call for Entry is a place for visual artists to find gallery shows and public art opportunities and whatnot to get commissions and sell their work. Recently, very recently, West Staff that created this application realized that, oh, wait a minute, 
all those festival folks who are putting on festivals, they actually have other people at their festivals besides visual artists. Wow, we could also make an application for all the other people who are not visual artists. And so we're um, kind of a beta test with them right now where they're trying out uh, expanding their application to folks who are not visual artists. So you'll notice that if you click artist, it's gonna give you all kinds of visual arts mediums to pick from. For our artists who are not visual artists, who are performance artists, um, you're gonna say non-artist vendor, and we're just gonna say music, okay? You may be a dancer, you may be doing other kind of performance. Just for this, we're gonna say music, okay. Um, but since this is the Arts Council, I'm also going to say nonprofit and community. There we go. We can even throw in an other while we're in there. Oh, nope, I can only do one to three. So we're going to be nonprofit, community, and music. All right, and then next, and you're going to want to select music as well. The next screen uh, says how many, how much information you want to be getting from ZAP itself. This is not from our festival. We're gonna be communicating with you through the festival. Um, this is just announcements from application on upcoming um, shows and whatnot. So you may not wish to subscribe for those things. Um, for us, I think I'm just going to make sure that we get some system information. Um, and maybe, well, I already get postcards because I have my own account. All right, and then I'm gonna confirm I'm not a robot and submit. Yay! Uh, the Arts Council now has an account in Zapplication. Now, the next thing I need to do is, up at the top here, I need to go to this little briefcase that says portfolio underneath it. And I'm gonna click on that and Again, because Zapplication, mm, they're geared towards visual artists, but this totally works for our performers as well. What we need you to do is we now need you to upload a promotional image, okay? Now, if you're wondering what makes for a good image, you can click on this little link here for image guidelines. And it's going to tell you um, what makes for a really good image. Now, why do we need this really good image? So that we can promote you effectively in the festival. We do a ton of marketing for the festival and we want to market you if you are in the festival. It adds to the appeal of the festival and it also ups people who will be coming to see you perform. So this is gonna give you some basic information on just how big a file you need to have um, and also why it's so important to have a really high resolution image. You can see a low resolution image when we try to use it in promoting you, it's gonna look mm, not that great, whereas a high resolution image is gonna look fabulous and do you justice. So I'm gonna try uploading an image from our files. And um, in our case, I'm just going to upload um, um, one of our logos. Um, what we want from you, however, is a really fantastic image of you performing, if at all possible. So if you can do that, that would be great. Do, 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 do. Okay, I found a good logo. Let's try this one. Hopefully um, this is a big enough size and it likes it. Now this is the other thing um, that you are going to have to trick Zap once more into, you know, it's going to ask you questions about your artwork that you're uploading a picture of. You're just going to say the number one for everything. And um, 
just trick it that way, say that the year it was completed was 2023, it's in inches, what have you, and let's try submitting that. Now guess what? We have a problem because this image does not meet ZAP requirements for application submission. Um, images for ZAP must be a minimum of 1400 pixels on the longest edge and for best quality, the ZAP team recommends um, an image that is, uh, oop, the little sign went away, but it can't be too big and it can't be too little. So I'm gonna try another image. Um, bear with me while I just uh, pick out a great image of work that we've done that maybe we would want to um, brag on if given the opportunity. You know what? I would love to brag on um, a storm drain mural by Cindy Epps that was completed at the Augusta Commons. So we're going to put that in there. And we're going to say Cindy Epps um, storm, whoops, got to spell right, storm drain mural. And that was actually completed in 2020. Oops. Okay, let's try submitting that one. Oh, it doesn't like that one either. Hmm. So you might encounter this problem as you're going through it. Try to make sure that you have great image that's a good size. Um, put into his application. We're going to pause for a second. All right, so let me go back to sharing my screen. And I'm trying a new image. And what I'm uploading is an image of the Augusta Sculpture Trail, just a little map of it, since that's work that we've done. It's the Arts Council. Oh, and it likes that image. That's a good one. Okay. So now you can see in my portfolio, I have an image of the Augusta Sculpture Trail map. All right. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna to apply to shows. And I'm gonna do a little search here for Augusta. And up pops three things. There's an Augusta, New Jersey. I didn't know there was an Augusta, New Jersey, but there is, and they have a, a festival that's coming up in September as well. And then you have Arts in the Heart of Augusta Festival 2023. There's two applications. One of them is for a fine arts and fine crafts market, but you're a performer, so you want the five performance stages. You're gonna click on that one and say, apply to this show. You're gonna to agree to the legal terms and get going. The very first thing is, Select your medium category. That actually means what stage are you going to perform on? And I think we're going to go to the family stage. And then you have to have um, a little artist statement. And it's going to say, we create fun and beauty. You may wish to say something more involved than that. And then we have a little explanation here that actually alerts you to 
the whole process that we're using this application and that when they say booth, they actually mean stage act and that you want to select which stage you're going to want to perform on up at the, the top here for select your show specific medium category. And then um, you can also at the bottom of the form towards the bottom, you can leave a note to the stage manager if you have any questions or any kinds of special comments that you wanna to give to there. And then our performance group name is gonna be Greater Augusta Arts Council. And then we sometimes have our MCs introduce our performers. What is gonna be a great description of your set that you want them to state as they're introducing you, for example, sit back and chill to the sultry sounds of the siren of song, what have you information about your group. Our group is made up of five ladies who wear all the hats and thousands of volunteers who help make the fun happen. Okay. And for our performance discipline, we're gonna say we're spoken. Okay. Um, and all of this information you're gonna wanna fill, fill in. If you have questions about any of them, you can click on the little question mark next to it and there will be a little pop-up screen that comes up that gives more information. How long is your set? What day can you perform? Your tech needs in backline, please do click on that question mark. It'll show you what the backline is for each stage. Um, when you need a ramp, if you got a drum set, drummer handedness, and then are you new to Arts in the Heart? Yes. If you're not, it's gonna pop up with, hey, what years did you perform? Maybe let us know. And then here's the part where you can leave a note to the stage manager. And of course, since we're the Arts Council, again, we're, this is a festival that celebrates our city's cultural diversity. If you would like to identify with a cultural identity, this is the place to put it in. Um, how'd you hear about Arts in the Heart? A little checklist to go through, your general release. And then for the portfolio section, you want to go to the bottom and in that little image that you uploaded into your portfolio, portfolio, you want to select it. Okay, now that's in there. All right, so that is basically how you um, apply to Arts in the Heart and it's actually going to let you know any of the required fields have not yet been filled in and it will have you fill those in. The number of performers, that's how many wristbands you're going to get in order for people to come into the festival. So consider how many people are in your group. So how many wristbands are you going to need for entry? And make sure you answer all of these questions that remain in red. Once it's all done, you're going to want to click on the thing that says check out. Now remember, um, this application was made for visual artists who are applying to festivals and every single festival uh, asks people who are applying for their festivals to pay a jury fee to offset the cost of whatever benefits that festival has to give to the jurors in order to jury the applications um, as well as other expenses and paying for his application itself. So it's set up to take payments from you at this point as you're checking out, but we do not charge anything for our application to the five stages of Arts in the Heart. So just click next, 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 next. And it'll say, oh, or you wanna want purchase all of this free stuff? And you say yes, and then it's all done, you're submitted. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you. And, um, let me know if you have any other questions. I will be holding live Zoom Q&A sessions every Monday at 11.30 a.m. through May 22nd, and I'm here to help. So just 
Tune in any Monday if you need the help and I will be here. You can share your screen. I can share my screen. We can work through any hiccups you're having in the application process. You can also call the Arts Council at 706-826-4702 and we're, one of us will be able to help you, probably me. All right. Thank you so much.